Welcome to myprojectbuzzer.com The title of the project is User Action Through Mouse Dynamics The abstract of the title The mouse dynamic is a new feature for the authentication purpose The efficient approach we have using to this approach The high accuracy will generate to the distance based features will be obtained for the mouse dynamic data The user classify the mouse dynamic data to perform the result of the user authentication the authentication purpose we have using the two approaches. We have using the two features of extract the most dynamic data. The holistic features and procedural features. The two features to perform to the result of the high accuracy. The holistic features we have using to retrieve the information for the mouse clicks event. The mouse click event contains a single click, double click, right click, left click. This event click event generation the holistic abstract observed through the performance result. The procedural event checking to the mouse movement areas. The mouse movement areas for X position, Y position range, then the time difference we count into the procedural features. This mouse dynamic used for the user to retrieve the information for the performance to the authentication purpose. So in previous keystroke approach, we have mentioned the keystroke and time difference of the logical reference. We checking to the mouse dynamic we have using to the, the efficiency approach, the holistic and the procedural features that retrieve the information for the each and every user to contain the single click and double click information. Then single click double click information we classify to get the result of the optimized result. The optimized result we have is checking to the converse skill range for the mouse dynamic data. Use the mouse dynamic data with the getting information, we classify the result, then we have checking to the process. The verifying process we have checked in the how many data we have the true positive values and the negative data will be proceed for the user. The same user will be generated for the true positive value and the negative value will be converting. The information and time difference we, can, we calculate to most dynamic data. Let us see the flow of the diagram. The mouse dynamic data, the mouse task operation the task compilation we have generated to collecting the databases the collection data collections mentioned the task operation there are two features we have added the features measurement is this calculation the most task is a single click or double click and right click and left click this information will be collected the collected information to the databases the retrieve collected information with the feature measure the feature measure hold holistic and the procedural features we measure that the measured value will be cla classification. The classification results show from the databases. Next, we have the operation of the DFT. The start the mouse operations to collect the result for the right click and left click, single click, double click. The data collected represents we have the feature distance for the holistic feature and the procedural features. Holistic features we are getting to the result of. The procedural features we are getting to the result of the mouse movement position. Let us see the demo of the process. We extract the mouse dynamic features in the first frame. We mention the name of the user. Enter the user name. So clicking the login form. The mouse information getting to the system. So your system mouse dynamic data with the options of the wait and double click event and the timing and the represent mouse process and the about click buttons and the swap and the present weight everything will be copied for the dynamically so this panels will be generated for the most dynamic data so you each and every user getting to the moment and the information for the right click and left click information just to collect the data this is our authentication each and every click click will be collected to the databases the collected operation will generate to the databases automatically to defend the process suppose if we need to the more options just to clear your options mentioned on the mouse hover, the panel will be leaving. So you enter the leaving and the hover will be checking for this mouse event. Next we go to the authentication process. Authentication process, we mentioned the same data set we have result. We checking to the result of the data result, we clicking to the event needed to the mouse event. The information of this period to the mouse single click and double click and the position and the exposition of the position and the time of the difference. We next we checking to the mouse event. The mouse event we have the predefined process for the holistic features and the procedural features and the classification. First of all, the holistic click. We mentioned to the holistic single click and double click of the all the users representative. 
the user representative of a single click and double click is period will be calculated the procedure feature we get the xy position reading in the xy position reading for most of dynamic data next we have go to the classification the classification first we have using the smm the smm we generate to the mouse single click and double click classification then the mouse time of the period region every users arrange to the higher priority of the regions when we talk at the most dynamic data the single click double click we mentioned the date and time so the process of the time we mentioned to the most time the most times maximum to minimum value will be generated for the most time automatically next we click the result of the data the result of the data which in every user single click to act to the result of the single click and double click at the xy position and also the most time of the difference the difference of the data will be calculated finally we show the result of the extraction result we mentioned to the data the next act the result of that the process will be generated for the user id basis the user id basis we generate the result in pre processing so the all the level of the records will be generated in this level this level we have generating to the features of the extracting result so the classification and the result will be show for the authentications before so after we have the verification section to mine calculator the verification click the user mentioned the verification click to the level of the click key and the processing to panel checking to the verify so the verify regions dynamically the clicking event add to the result of the uh, databases the authentication result for the users is clicking the event the false authentication mentioned to the regions of the level so the user like this user with the mouse position and the level out of the range to the 0.01 of the 1.1 region so this regions of the data will be the false authentication properties because the lower level regions in the mentioned to the process the true level reason regions we mentioned to the more than 1.12 result we taken to the process the process will be generated for the value for the timing period to the mouse authentication though out of the out of the layer regions we will be calculate for the true authentication and the below regions will be the false authentication this authentication purpose each and every time to checking the region basis finally we declare to the result of the classing we mentioned to the position of the user this is id mentioned to the user and the level of the process for the high level it is mentioned to the most authentication time period the high level time period only mentioned to the two regions but the authentication regions mentioned to the one point of the two region to mention the most of users will checking to the false authentication value most of users regions to checking to the region for the true authentication purpose the true authentication purpose for the for valid to the most authentication it will be performed with the accuracy for the more result to the uh, thank you